Writing polynomials in standard form is actually a pretty straightforward process. It's only multiplication. And that makes sense because it says x times times times. You got all this business multiplied by each other. Now, a lot of teachers will teach this differently, but I recommend you work backwards. Take these two binomials and multiply them together first. So we'll start by multiplying x times x, which is x squared. Then we're going to take x times 2, 2x. Then we're going to start multiplying this 1. 1 times x is 1x, and 1 times 2 is 2. Teachers call this FOIL. This is the distributive property. However you're comfortable with it, just make sure that you simplify your answer. x squared plus 3x plus 2 is what these two binomials turned into. Now, this business right here, I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to keep multiplying, but this time I'm going to multiply this by every single term in the trinomial, and again, every single term in the trinomial by that 1. So we'll start the process. One time, or x times x squared is x to the third, x times 3x, 3x squared, x times 2, 2x, right here. 1 times x is x squared. Now I use column format because it's easier for me to add my terms. 1 times 3x is 3x and 1 times 2 is 2. Now I'll be able to combine all my terms very easily. 3 plus 1 is 4x squared, 3 plus 2 is 5 and 2. So the, this binomial and this trinomial turned into this polynomial with four terms. We still have this x in the very front, and that gets multiplied by every single thing inside there as well. So, as much as of a lengthy process as this may seem, it's actually not very difficult, because you're only multiplying. In this last step, though, be very careful. You don't want to make careless mistakes. x times x to the third is x to the fourth. I've seen kids put 2x before. That's wrong. 4x to the third, 5x squared, 2x. This is how you would write a polynomial in standard form.